Good afternoon. Here we have a guy who delivers. You know the little flyers, the annoying flyers that keep your garbage messy? Here are the guys, bro. A million doors? How many doors there do you go. Over a, Over a million. Over a million doors. New York many, City metropolitan area. How many, how many boroughs? Five? All the five boroughs. What about the fancy Manhattan building? Let you in or not? Uh, we mail it to the fancy Manhattan buildings. And in lower Manhattan, we get in door to door. How'd you start? Started working for a butcher store. When Giving I was 15 flyers? years old. Doing what? It was Glick Brothers Butcher Store uh -huh. in uh, Trump Village. And Meatpacking. No, I was working in the butcher store. He asked me to do every odds and end. I was 15. So I started there and he said to me that he wanted me to deliver flyers door to door. And I grew up in Trump Village, which was all uh, part of Oh, Brooklyn. Yeah. 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 By Coney Island. Island. Coney Island. So I grew up on West 5th Street and Neptune Avenue as a kid. And then I took 3,000 flyers. He gave me $150 to distribute them. I did it with my younger brother Noah and his friend. And I did it in uh, about two and a half hours. So I, I actually split it with my brother and his friend. Um, I didn't keep all the money. I wasn't like that yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to see what it was going to be like. And then, and then I, I printed up business cards uh, from the guy who did my bar mitzvah invitations. And, uh, it's called Dependable Circular Distributors back then. And I handed them out to all the local stores. And one of the stores called me up that day, as soon as I gave him my business card, Driftway Drug Stores. He said, I need my circulars to live in. I said, how many guys? He said, I got 5,000. I said, I'll do it tomorrow. He goes, what do you mean? You call yourself dependable? I said, what do you mean? He goes, I want it done now. I said, I'll get it done for you. I went out and grabbed two guys I didn't know, and I banged out the whole job that night. And how old were you? I was 15 years old. So you never went to cut? Hold on. And then, and you then, did the three point story. Right, so then we had three point drug stores that I was going out to. At 15? At 15, yeah. You're like 25 now, right? Okay. <laughs> so then, um, I, I told my brother Mitch I was starting to get jobs. He's with, your brother? Yeah, he's my brother. Oh, your, okay. So I was starting to get jobs that were outside the neighborhood. I was getting recommended all over. And I said, Mitch, I don't have a car, couldn't drive. I said, Mitch, I need you to help me. He drove my dad's car, we did jobs outside the neighborhood. So now we became like partners. And then he went on to college when he was 19, 18, Oh, you never went to 17, college? 17, 17. You never 17, went to college? He went, he went for two years. I, I went, but I didn't, I had to stop because I got too big. So. I started a little publication when I was like 17, 18, a local publication. It's called uh, Consumer's Guide to Big Savings. And I distributed to 35,000 homes there. And then from there, the Bay News called me up because I printed by their plant. And they said, you distribute? They gave me all their shoppers to distribute. So now I'm about 17, 18, and I'm doing all the shoppers. And, and you're making 100,000 a year. And now Walgreens drugstores opened up in our neighborhood. Walgreens opened up their first store in the boroughs, in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Nah, because they're already in the Bronx. Oh, yes. They opened up their first store on uh, West 6th Street and Neptune Avenue by us. And my mother went in there and said, my son delivers wires. So the district manager said, tell him to come in. So I went in there. He gave me the flyers to distribute. I distributed them to the whole neighborhood, right? After I distributed them to the whole neighborhood, the guy goes, can you do the Bronx? Can you do the Yonkers? Can, I said, I'll do anything you want. <laughs> as long as the check clears. And now, he says to me, can you print? So I learned printing when I was younger. So now I was doing printing and distribution. So I learned both ends of the business. And then I started a mapping system as we got older. And then we, he, he got out of college and he came back as my partner. When I was working with you through college. No, oh, we so much. But oh, he was um, he was more into girls back then. So I was I was more into work. <laughs> what do you mean? I was I was in school studying to be a CPA working in an accounting firm whenever I wasn't in school. Are you some 
That's very nice. And the rest is history. I didn't throw you under the bus. And the rest is history. So then we started a mapping system with all the boroughs, with uh, the ethnicities, the geographic areas, how many is in the area, and uh, how, uh, how much you make a year, your income, average income of the area. We designed this whole mapping system, and I go into Toys R Us, Martin Paint stores back then, Sleepy's, with, all, with these mapping systems, and boom, we sold them. And they buy two million homes at a time from us. So how many people in your company today? I was 24. How many, how many people in your company now? Now we're a couple hundred. hundred people? couple hundred. couple hundred, yeah. wow. And I was on the sidelines. It's, it seems like nothing has changed, but... <laughs> the internet affect your business at all or not really? Yeah, it did. But people still want... People ignore spam emails and not ignore a flyer that hits their door, right? Um, well, we do our door hanger, which works effectively. The bags people are still taking in. They still complain if they don't get it. <laughs> and some people complain when they do get it. <laughs> get more. I don't want it, then I do want it because of the green look. But we recycle paper and everything. So. You know, with the recycling laws. So you have a couple hundred people in the company. Do you have any competition or no? Yeah. How many other people in this industry? There's a bunch. So you're the biggest, it sounds like. We were the biggest. We were or you are? I mean, I don't want, and the, the industry's going down now, you know, it's not like it was. So he's, he's still the biggest, okay. Just want to confirm one of the biggest. Where do you live? In New York. New York, that's a, night, a humble way of saying Manhattan. <laughs> West side, east side? No, no, I don't live there. Somewhere else. You got to be friends with Danny Fickleman. Uh, um, very cool. So here, here you have it. The guy who annoys you with those spam. I'll give you his address, and we'll spam the heck out of him. We'll pile up those newspapers <laughs> so he knows what it feels like behind his uh, doorman in fancy building Manhattan, which he'll never see or know what the flyer that he spams is with. So what would the lesson would you tell what would you tell your twenty year old self? I, Buy Apple. <laughs> what would you tell your twenty year old self starting a new business? If I was doing it again? Yeah. Well, what would you like to have known that you know I'm now? So, I'm so happy that the way I did things. I don't know if I would have done it differently because I tell my children I didn't go out and buy the new Z28 when I made money. You know what I mean? I went out and bought a piece of property. I bought a warehouse. You know, that's the way I my mind was. I'd buy a car that was, was ready for the junkyard, you know, for three, four hundred dollars. I didn't care about those things. So I think that the, the things in life that people make so important aren't as important as they make it. So what's important? What's important is your family, your health is number one, your family, and how you raise them, and, and be a mensch. Help your friends, help your community. What's your name again? Ruvain. Last name? Valinsky. Valinsky, company's called? DCD Marketing. DCD Marketing, check him out. You probably on the internet, right? Yeah. So if you want to add your ad into his little spam flyer, <laughs> The spam that actually reaches people. Because the right. spam you send an email never gets to the guy. Right. So if you want spam that works, they're the guys. We're the real deal. <laughs> <laughs>